What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Probe, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? Today, I got three boxes for us to check out, all different types of shoes. Not too sure what's gonna be in them. I do have an idea of one, and it is gonna be a super high-end, high-tech Nike running shoe. I'm sure you guys are gonna look forward to that one. And then I got a big USPS box. I think there's just one pair of shoe in it. There could possibly be two. So we're for sure checking out three with the possibility of four. So before we get into it, make sure you're checking out the Discord make sure you're saving yourself some money because um you know i don't know if you guys have looked around but uh stuff's pretty expensive so if we're wanting to get our necessities we need to save money in the things that we don't really need hence all of this stuff so that's where i come in join my discord i got tons of information over there i'm available to personally dm i may not instantly reply to you but i promise you i will see it and i will help you out so I can send you on your way to saving some money because that's the whole point of this channel. But let's go ahead and check out some sneakers for the day. So, uh, like I said, high tech Nike running. If you guys have this pair of shoes, you may recognize this box. It does have a time code right there, which to my knowledge, from what I understand, if my reading comprehension is up to par and my listening skills have not left me, I believe someone wore these bad boys and like broke the marathon time record. And the reason that was a possibility is because there's like carbon plates in here. And I believe there's three carbon plates. So kind of like the PF flyers that came out in what was it the 70s the 80s you know the run faster jump higher these actually are going to make you do that so let's uh dude they look crazy these look absolutely wild I did grab these from a uh, hyper vendor I will have all of their information on my discord so do not sweat man this thing is crazy Okay, I guess I should tell you what this is. So this is the Alpha Fly Nike. Uh, measured in the lab, verified by world-class runners, Nike running. Maybe that says nigh high. I don't know, I just noticed that on the very bottom it says N-I-H-E. That's really tiny print, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. air zoom right there let's get into checking this thing out off the rip it's not as light as the hoka running shoe that i did just a little bit ago and i think that's partially due to this air bubble that's right there so this shoe like it's really top heavy so like if i'm trying to hold it it just like folds down like that but if you look in not only is there a black carbon plate underneath there like i mentioned earlier there's supposed to be three kind of looks like um if you've ever had a fish tank like those fish that suck on two uh, the glass the bocosmus or just like the the bottom feeder thing that's what the shoe reminds me of it kind of looks like the mouth of that it's gonna blow 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 but this does come in in a few different colors i decided to get this yellow one it kind of seemed like the most kind of neutral uh more manly one they have a pink one and I believe there might be an all white and there's a custom pair. Kind of a funky shape to the heel too. Comes to like a real fine point. So I don't, I'm not too versed in this. I have been loving like my athletic running shoes I've been getting. And from what I was kind of researching on YouTube, people were like, these are the bee's knees. This is the top of the line. And I think these are going for over $200 in store. So these are gonna cost you about as much as a Jordan shoe is. But uh, from what I've learned, runners are as big as sneaker heads as, you know, hype beast and other other sports players as well. Runners seem to really like their shoes. Um, really, really pretty fade. See that yellow going into the pink and then it has that blue kind of just like perfect color blocking. I think it looks good. Nike swoosh on the top. This is all mesh up here. It says Adam knit and then the the insole is kind of just free floating around in there. It's not really secured down. 
And then it also has this really big heel catch back there as well. So this shoe is absolutely sick. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because we gotta bust into these other boxes. Man, this is super squishy. I may have to end up coming back to these and do a review once I've worn them a little bit more to kind of give you guys a more in-depth. It doesn't really bend super, super stiff with those carbon plates, but pretty much this shoe will propel you forward. So like if you see that monster bubble, like it's gonna push you off the ground. And then I guess when those carbon plates bend, it like gives energy that you don't create and propels you forward. At least that's kind of what my understanding was of it. Um, if you have a pair of Alpha Flies and you've worn them a lot, or if you're a competitive runner or a freelance runner and you just happen to have some, let me know, hit me up. Let me know what's up with these. Um, I think they're absolutely fire. Nike Alpha Fly doesn't get much cooler than that. And like I said, they're even, uh, they're illegal to wear as a professional runner now because that one guy wore them and broke the record and everyone's like, ah, let me see what's going on with this. And it turns out the shoes is what really, really helped them. But I think this might be the perfect transition. We got a Kobe here. Black and red. This one's gonna be from SN Kick. Came with the pair of shocks. If you watch my channel, you know the name SN Kick. In fact, I just did a video, my last video, if you wanna go check it out, um, it says I'm back. Um, I did check out a few different pairs from SN Kick, and this is just another one displaying their perfect quality that they have to offer. Um, you really can't go wrong with them. Man, the shoe smells good too. Smells really good. Smells like Foot Locker. This is kind of like the reverse Grinch. Has that red and then the green laces. Got the Mamba print going down the side. Got a red plastic and then this is like, has a plastic shell on the back half too. Um, really cool Valentine's Day shoe. I know we just missed it, but if you needed some for next year, SN Kit can hook you up. Got the Nike Zoom right here on the heel as well. And then a torse. And then of course the Kobe signature there on the heel, bringing the whole thing together. Whole shoe is red, comes with these green laces, but if you wanted to swap them out for that red, you absolutely can. And then on the inside said mold to molds to my foot with a 24 on the inside. So very cool. Not sure if you guys have seen the inside of the Kobe. Um, and then on the bottom, man, carbon plate in the middle. And then, ah, do you hear that grip? Goodness gracious, this thing is grippy as hell. And I have sold a few of these for people who wanted to hoop in them. And they haven't messaged me saying like, hey, I, I blew my knee out hooping in these. So they must be strong enough, good enough quality for you to actually perform the sport in. And like I said, I've done this for a long time. I've sought after the people that are going to get you the good quality. That is the stuff just like you buy inside the mall. And you know, I've done that. And now I'm here to tell you how to do it. So yeah, get yourself some Kobe's if that's what you're after. Absolutely fire. Just knocked off the scissors. I'm gonna have to grab those, but we're not done yet. I got one more for us. Let's get into checking her out. Came in this big box here. Sounds like there's just a single pair in here. Got that strong tape. Voila. Yeah, being left-handed, dude, like scissors, like I'm ambidextrous, I'm, it's fair enough to say that. Like I use both hands equally. I just write left-handed, I throw left-handed. Um, I eat left-handed, but brush, brush my teeth right-handed so like my brain's just kind of all like what's going on what do you want to do today uh here we have a pair of six and a half of some white gray and blue air jordan one mids and this is kind of one of the newer ones but man that gray and blue really goes together well we're gonna have an all leather shoe actually no this is new buck we have new buck around pretty much the toe and then leather behind the swoosh, and then the actual swoosh is gonna be in a blue suede. But wait, it gets better? Icy bottom, check that out. Oh man, that looks good. If you have a pair of Spider-Mans or some of the Fearless AJ1s, I think they got icy bottoms on them as well. Sins with some gray 
laces to exchange. I personally think the white in there look absolutely fire. But kind of just a classic shoe. I know mids aren't really for everyone, but women seem to like the mids just mainly because I think like their legs aren't as long, so the highs can kind of look almost like boots. So the mids are a good um, filler for that. It's kind of about the same ride as about a Chuck Taylor. So if you're used to having something about that height, these are going to slide right into your wardrobe. It's a good looking shoe. It really is. Nothing too outlandish about it, but it's like if you needed an everyday wear, absolutely. Even if like your team colors are blue, it's going to fit right in. I really like the gray. They don't make a whole lot of gray. Really nice white leather on the heel as well. But per usual, I'm going to take some close-up shots of these. I'm going to upload it on a short on my TikTok. I'm going to upload it as a short on my YouTube page. So make sure you check those out. Make sure you drop some likes on those. It helps it push it out into the algorithm. Um, like I said, I'm trying to help as many people save money as I can. Uh, this Biden America ain't really all my favorite, but luckily it is election year. Hopefully everyone's registered to vote. Hopefully you're going to take part in the election and hopefully help make a change because I think we are rather do for one. Um, yeah, just a lot going on in world events. So don't get discouraged. Keep your goals in mind. Keep going after whatever you're after. And I'm pretty sure everything should work out just fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm Jeff Rowe. Thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully you enjoyed these sneakers I brought to you. Um, like I said, you can reach out to me on Discord. I'm going to help you save some money. That's my whole goal. And yeah, I'll be back soon when I got some more stuff for you.